I am Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting video to understand slope of line. The question here is, line segment AB pass through the point P which is 2, 5. Determine possible coordinates for the points A and B if the slope of the line segment AB is minus 3. Right? That's the question for you. We have a couple of videos discussing this reverse kind of calculation. Here I will adopt a very different approach. Now in this case what is given to us is that there is a line AB which passed through a point and the slope is minus 3. That means it is kind of dropping down, right? So we'll take a line which is kind of dropping down. Is it okay? So let's say this is the line for us. And on this line, we are given a point. Let's say this point P is given to us as 2, 5. We need to find two points. We call them A and B. So that the slope is minus 3. Do you see that? So that is what the question is. Now, you can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, when I say that the slope is minus 3, that really means slope m, which is rise over run, which is change in y over change in x, is minus 3. I could write this as minus 3 over 1, and I could also write this as 3 over minus 1. Both will give me minus 3 as my result, right? So that is how we could get two different points going with a line segment going through point P and having a slope of minus 3, right? Now, how do we use this equation? So for point 1, which we could say, we could use one of these. That means let's take away 3. Uh, I mean, go down 3 units and write on this. So we'll, we can find point B by going right and down. Do you see that? Right and down, we get point B. Is that okay? Or you can say going down or right, we get point B. So minus 3 is going down by 3 units, right? So it is kind of uh, going down by 3 units. Let me say that. So this going down is, is going down by 3 units. This is minus 3. And so we are doing this part here. And going right by 1 unit, right? It means really, if you look at the diagram, so we have a point P, which is 2, 5, then we, what should be the coordinate of B? So B coordinate, as far as the X value is concerned, it is plus 1, is that okay? Plus 1, 2, 2, right? So it is 2 plus 1, and the Y value is from 5, take away 3, minus 3, do you see that? Or we could write this P as 3, and 5 take away 2, uh, 5 take away 3 as 2, right? So we get the coordinates of point B as 3, 2. Is that okay? Let's go through this calculation once again with the different example. Well, in a way what we will do here is we'll try to find what A should be, right? So we'll work on this value now. So we're saying go up by 3. That means this is plus 3. Is it okay? and left means minus 1 to get to A, correct? So what should be the coordinate of A? So if P is 2, 5, A should be from 2, we are going left 1. That means 2 minus 1. As far as Y value is concerned, up 3 is 5 plus 3. So that means A will be 2 minus 1 is 1 and 5 plus 3 is 8. Do you get it? So we get, um, so we get the coordinates as 1, 8. Right, so we get a should be equal to 1 8. Okay, now definitely these are the two endpoints of a segment AB. Let us find the slope of AB now. Let's do the reverse calculation. So, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So, 2 minus 8, okay, 2 minus 8 divided by 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1. 2 minus 8 is minus 6 and 3 minus 1 is 2 and that gives us minus 6 divided by 2 as minus 3. So it's perfectly what we wanted. Do you see the concept? So if you apply this kind of a concept and see visually what we are trying to achieve, I hope it becomes simpler to understand. I'm Anil Kumar. 
You can always share and subscribe my videos and learn. Thank you and all the best.